Hello, I want to give a demo of Spreadsheets Are All You Need, which implements the forward pass of GPT-2, an ancestor of sorts of ChatGPT, entirely in Excel using standard spreadsheet functions. By using a spreadsheet, anyone, even a non-developer, can explore and play with how a real large language model works under the hood without too many abstractions getting in the way. I'll post some videos later about how it works in detail, but in the meantime, I wanted to start with a brief overview of how to use this sheet. There are some limitations to be aware of. The implementation is just big enough to run some very small workloads, but it does implement the full GPT-2 small 124 million parameter model. Only the inference pass is implemented, so there's no training. There's only a 10 token context limit, and words are only limited to 10 characters. This is a very big sheet. Unfortunately, it's not unusual for Excel to lock up while using it, so I highly recommend going into Excel, going to the Formulas tab, oh, and speak of the devil, here's a lockup. I'll fast forward through these for your benefit. As I was saying, going to the Formulas tab, hitting the calculation options, and turning off automatic and switching it to manual. Okay. Uh, let's walk over to uh, the first sheet, which is where you'd type in your prompt. And for comparison, I've got this script, which is a Python script that implements uh, GPT-2 small using the Hugging Face Transformers library, just outputs the first 10 characters, or sorry, the 10 tokens. So we're going to try it with a simple prompt. Mike is quick. He moves. And then GPT-2 will just try and complete uh, the prompt. So he moves, you'll note, this is the keyword, quickly, which makes perfect logical sense. Um, so let's see if we can get the same output out of our spreadsheet. So when you enter your prompt, one thing to know is that you're going to have to enter each word on a separate row, and you'll have to add the spaces yourself. So Mike is quick. And then punctuation also needs to have a separate row. He moves. OK. We'll come back here eventually, and we'll get our predicted token. So next we go here. This implements the byte pair encoding. Oh, we're getting a lockup. Uh, but right here is where we'll see our final list of tokens. So we hit Calculate Sheet. And there we go. Here's our final token list. You'll see it right here. Mike is quick. And then here are the actual IDs of those tokens in the GPT-2 vocabulary. Let's go here to so-called constants. Again, run calculate sheet. It's now updated the word and token length. Um, these are the normal parameters for GPT-2 small in terms of number of embedding dimensions and number of heads. Let's move here. Uh, this will do the text and positional embeddings. So here are the text embeddings, and then here are the positional embeddings. We'll hit Calculate Sheet, and we can see the prompt tokens in this column, their IDs, and then the positional embeddings that get added onto those. OK, now we move into the blocks. Each of these block sheets, and you can see there's 12 of them, like the 12 uh, blocks in GPT-2's architecture, implement both the multi-head attention, as well as the multi-layer perceptron. So if we hit Calculate Sheet, we'll see it's pulling in these numbers. You'll notice these numbers here, if you take a look, look at this, 0 0.072. That's actually pulling the output of the positional embedding right here. So the positional embedding goes right into the first block. And then this block has 16 steps. Uh, that implement first the multi-head attention. Here are the queries, keys, and values. Uh, and here you can see the attention heads. Oh, I think we're getting another lockup. And we're back. OK. Um, one thing to note here is you'll see this yellow row. Um, these are the different heads in the multi-headed attention. So if you scroll all the way over here, here's head one. You keep going through all the way to 768, and you'll see all the different heads and each head's attention mechanism. Then they get stitched back together, uh, and then they go through 
the layer normalization step and the multi-layer perceptron um, before finally getting the residual connection. And then you get the output of this block. Now note this point 0413. You'll note, we go here to block one. If I run calculate sheet, you'll see again, point 0413. So basically the output from block zero has gone into block one and now it goes through the same entire process. There's a parameter up here. You'll see there's a block number here in this uh, cell, and that's used by these cells here to figure out which model parameters for that head or, or block in our lingo here in this sheet is being used from the model weights of GPT-2. Uh, and so if I run this here, we do the same thing on block two. Then we go to block three, which is pulling in from block two. Then we go to block four. I should really fast forward this part in the recording. Now to block six. Now to block seven. Oh, another lockup. And we're back. Okay, block seven. Calculate sheet. Block eight. Block nine, block 10, block 11. Okay, and then lastly, we have a uh, layer normalization step, and then uh, we map it to the vocabulary and get the weights, and then we get a predicted token. And drum roll quickly. Okay, we're back. The rest of the sheets you see here, these are all the GPT-2 model parameters uh, for GPT-2 small. Uh, and that's basically the rest of the sheets here. The really big guy here is model uh, W text embeddings. Uh, that guy is really big. You're welcome to obviously click on these and understand how the formulas work. I'll be doing some videos that walk through it in detail, uh, but in the meantime, that's enough to get you started. Okay, thank you.